Today in Art Pro we're going to see how to convert our image, a drawing, or even a photo of our face using the AI of Midjourney to generate variations in style. The basic use of Midjourney and its different functions is already well known. But the latest version of this app now allows us to do this type of action which until now was reserved for stable diffusion. You will see how easy, fast, and spectacular it is. I will then explain the use of this function, putting a couple of examples, first with a photo and then with a drawing. Here, I will first generate a portrait image with AI that has a photorealistic appearance on the website dispersandosnotexist.com, but obviously, you can upload a photo of your face of the person you want. I save it on my computer and now we're going to do magic. But before we continue, if you're new here and interested in AI applied to image and visual arts, I recommend that you subscribe and press the bell to not miss any videos about all these technological advancements that are coming out and that we can take advantage of as artists. So now we are on mid-journey through Discord. The first thing we're going to do is provide the reference image based on which we want to generate variations with the style we want. So we click here to upload a file and choose our photo. We press the enter key to submit it and once it's loaded, we open the image from mid-journey. We right-click and select the option, copy image link. And that's it. And now, to generate images, we write in the text box as usual. Imagine, prompt. Now we can paste the photo address that we just uploaded using the control keyboard shortcut, and then after pasting the link, we write a description of the style in which we wanted to interpret the photo. I'm going to put line art and we could also specify any other aspect, for example, that it generates this girl with a Caucasian style or anything else. The more detailed the description, the better it should adapt the result to our expectation. We submit the request and it starts generating the four initial proposals. Meanwhile, as you already know, we can see the image requests from other users. Well, in a few seconds here we have these images that it has generated for us from the portrait photo we provided, with a line drawing style. Interestingly, a male version has appeared here that we could have avoided by specifying in the description that, in addition to a line drawing, it was only of a girl. Well, it still serves us as an example. As we see, it's not just about a filter or like Photoshop actions to change the appearance of the same photo, but it has interpreted it with variations in lighting, angle, expression, hair placement, etc. From a photograph with a quite flat appearance has generated images with a quite well-resolved drawing appearance and with much more interesting contrast. Let's try again with the same photo, but this time asking it to interpret it as a digital art image. And this is the result of extraordinary quality, with hardly any effort when writing the prompts. Simply digital art. The resemblance may vary slightly, but we could save the images that we like the most, ask it to generate more in this style or request that it make four new ones that have nothing to do with each other. This is something quite spectacular that many people are using to make versions of their faces and then use, for example, as an avatar on social networks. But what utility could this have for artists? Apart from being able to use it, obviously, as a source of inspiration, we could upload an image of ourselves with our personal style and ask it to generate variations based on it, even with a different theme. The process would be the same, uploading an image with a particular style of a clearing in a forest. Again I paste the link to the image and ask it to interpret it as an island. And this is the result. We see that it respects the color palette quite well and even the circular structure of the scene. Very interesting, as in the central part of the reference image was the clearing in the forest, in the results it is interpreted as water and in the background it has placed the island. A phenomenal equivalence in the structure, tones, and composition resolved very intelligently in just seconds, trying to do it by hand. Could have taken us hours. The main difference I see is that the forest image is made with a style of figures with flatter colors and in the versions the gradients predominate. Apart from that, it respects the original style very well and adapts it to a different concept, simply by writing a single term, island. 
But if we wanted the variations to also be with flat colors, it would be as simple as adding the a flat design prompt to the description. The Midjourney AI generates almost always visually very attractive things, but it's not in our mind. So, as I say, the more precise we are in the descriptions, the more it can adjust to our expectations. And that's all for today. If you liked it, you can leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to learn everything about the latest AI advancements applied to images, I'll leave you a couple of videos that might be of interest. Greetings and see you in the next video.